Now, have you seen the chic and easy DIY plaster art that is like all over the social feeds? Here to show us just how accessible this craft can be, it's Monique Taylor Yishu. She does it really well. So good. So this is a really fun and cheap DIY, uh, Mo, and we are seeing it everywhere. You are doing these for what, under 25 bucks? Yes. Yes, and you could see these for like three to six hundred dollars, honey. Yes. Yes, and these are the secrets here. Okay, what so are those? So we have drywall plaster. Okay. And then we have this is a molding paste. Oh, a that's modeling all paste rather. Modeling paste. <laughs> modeling paste. Okay. So that's going to be what we're going to work with the first time on the first one. So beautiful. That's this piece right here. I had a canvas, oh. got it from IKEA. Kind of wanted to elevate it a little bit. Yeah. So we added our modeling paste at the bottom, yeah. painted it, and voila. And this yes. is the look. This is the look. Yes. So the lower third is plaster, and then right. you you keep the art peeking out of the other, out of the top. Exactly, and so you can also upcycle, which is what we're gonna be doing with this piece here. So you've had this piece for a while and you're like, it needs a little something, something. Yes, okay. exactly, right. and so, so this is a thick paste, yeah. but what I love about it is that it doesn't crack when it dries. So oh, that's okay. also the beauty of this as well. Good. So you just dollop a little bit on there like that. All right. And then you use your little scraper and you literally just spread it. Can I go both sides like this you or can is that go so both wrong? Sides. Okay. It doesn't matter. The beauty of it, it's supposed to be like that rough yes. texture. Oh, cool. And you just keep on going. Yeah. And then you're done. When you're finished, you cover it up how, as much as you want to cover, and you're good. It takes about one to three hours to dry. Yeah. And then you're good. If you want to paint over it, you can do that as well. So, so what you could do is you could pick one of those colors and make it at the, exactly. at the bottom. Exactly. Or you can just do something completely, right. you know, whatever you want. A beautiful pop. Yes. Awesome. I'm telling you, honey, you feel like an artist when you're doing yes. these. Like, <laughs> see me in Paris. Okay. All right. So on to our next one. Yes. I actually really love this. This is, I like to call this beauty in the chaos. Okay. And what you're using is craft paper. So craft paper that you normally get, craft store, dollar store. Yeah. And you are just crumpling it up. So I will let you do the There's get, This is going to be very satisfying, I yes. can tell already, because ah, right. <laughs> that's such a good feeling. Exactly. But I want to actually show them the finished one behind you so yes. they get a sense of what we're doing. Right. So that, if you can see the texture in that, that is the whole point of this. You crumple yes. up the paper, you put it on the canvas, and then you can paint the whole thing out, and yes, you feel very art right. art safe. Yes, and so this is also Artsy using the modeling paste. I okay. mixed it about a one-to-one -one ratio with some acrylic paint. Okay. Added a little bit of water, literally like a little capful okay. of water. Yeah. And you don't necessarily have to glue the paper on. I did just for extra security, Good. but you could do that. And then you mix it, and then I'll have you take Take the brush. Okay. And you can go ahead and paint. Just gonna so move just that out away. The way. And so as you're doing that. So I'm uh, literally just gonna paint the craft paper? Yes. And Even, you're gonna, oh, okay. Yeah. Like just like that? Just like that. Okay. Just like that. You keep going and going and going until it's covered. I suggest that you do two coats because the paper, as it dries, you'll see a little, you know, a little bit of the brown peeking yes. through. Yeah. So you can add, you know, another layer of paint. I mean, it's not exactly a smooth palette to be painted. No. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm, I'm supposed to get into all of those little crevices, yes. right? Like it's got to be completely yeah. painted over. Right. And feel free to get messy and wild. It doesn't have any need to be like pretty strokes or whatnot. Oh, I see. So I yes. should just be going for it. Exactly. I would if I wasn't wearing this cute coat. <laughs> I mean, if okay. I wasn't as the beautiful blazer, I would go ham on it. Absolutely. And then as you can see, I have this actually mounted. So I have this frame here. Yeah. From Ikea, I just glued the canvas onto the frame. I'm just going to show frame. you what she did here. To give See it that? that extra elevation. Very nice. On there. So it doesn't, you don't have to go out and buy in a very expensive frame. No. Uh, it's super lightweight and you're putting the uh, canvas right on it, which yes. is beautiful. Last All but right. not least. Last but not least. This is very the very popular one. Also very satisfying as well. So I've gone ahead and pre-prepped this. So this is what we're using, where we're using the drywall compound. Okay. And so you spread it all, get a thick layer on there. Yeah. And then you're going to use this. 
Ooh, okay. what are those? So these are actually used with decorating cakes. I found these smart. online for like seven bucks. Oh, okay? so smart. Instead of using one of those tiling trowels, yeah. just use these. Okay. And all you have to do is you go to town. Oh, you just go for any, it now? Exactly. So go. this is sort of the inspo yes. for this. Um, you can, if you can feel it, the yes. texture is just beautiful on it. Exactly. So you make that using the, uh, the icing. Yes. And is then it you wet? Just, it is. Oh, yes. this feels good. Can you hold it for yes, me? Yes, absolutely. And then I'm going to go like that. Yes. And then Ooh. I'm going to go like that. Uh, look. Look at okay. that. Look at that. Yeah, I feel pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, I feel pretty cool. I'm telling you. And then you do like that. Yep. That. And then you're good. <laughs> you figure out what right. you want to do, but you put like a pretty thick layer on there, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And so with this being a thicker layer, it takes a little bit longer to dry. So I would suggest leaving this overnight, maybe for a couple of days as well. Yeah. And then if you want to, you could also paint over it. Okay. This yeah. is a ton of fun. Yeah. I think that this is a great project that you can do and honestly so much less expensive yes. than buying it. Monique, thank you for that.